Uh, the other thing that we are noticing these days is that the organizations are becoming more and more powerful. You know, the, the large four tech companies, for example, the Google, Facebook, Apple, uh, they're bigger than countries yes. and they have a lot more influence uh, on people uh, than a lot of governments and a lot of uh, country organizations have. Uh, what is the role that you think these organizations have to play or should play in this uh, increasing overall happiness uh, across the globe? I think it's critical. I think as you rightly point out now, companies, organizations now almost have the presence and the power and the budgets mm -hmm. of governments. And rather than just being uh, entities that aren't governed by some kind of value and purpose, why don't we as members of that new mm -hmm. country or corporation really start to exercise our own values and our own vision in order to influence society for the better. Mm -hmm. Many uh, companies now recognize that it's important not just for their um, success as companies, but to make their employees feel a sense of belonging, mm -hmm. a sense of pride in showing up and wearing that logo. Uh, and that in turn spills out into the larger community. Um, so it translates, it's a, a virtuous cycle, I think, mm -hmm. um, that as companies really clarify their values, embrace it, um, measure things differently. Um, new employees will, will be attracted. I think a lot of young people now don't want just a job that will bring home a paycheck. They mm -hmm. want a job that has some meaning. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to tell their friends, I'm really proud to be working here mm -hmm. because look at this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the prize winners that you highlighted today in your uh, leadership awards mm -hmm. really epitomize that. Right. And people want those, those kinds of uh, recognition mm -hmm. and to be contributing to the world in this mm -hmm. way. Uh, one of the things that people are seeing today is that um, uh, lack of morality in some of the leaders globally. Yes. And these are the guys who are actually winning yes. in this And uh, people are kind of losing hope in what is right. Uh, uh, what do you say to that? I mean, how do, you, how do you think we should address that? It's an interesting time because I think for one thing, the way politics is run these days, many people of deep moral standing uh, who really want to contribute to this world would not want to run an election mm -hmm. because it becomes so dirty or so influenced by big money mm -hmm. that they feel they couldn't keep their hands clean. Mm -hmm. So the kinds of people like Martin Luther King or Nelson Mandela, who we've mm -hmm. heard evoked in this conference, you know, if you were to ask them to run for president of the United States, would they? And would they be able to keep their values mm -hmm. within that system? Mm -hmm. So unless the electoral processes are reformed, mm -hmm. and unless there is a real return to um, a democracy or to principles that are aligned in the electoral process itself, mm -hmm. then I think we start to, the importance of ordinary citizens, of CEOs, mm -hmm. becomes really important because we right. are you know, we are the kings and queens of our mm -hmm. own companies mm -hmm. and our own families. Mm -hmm. So within our sphere of influence, we have the opportunity to express what those moral values are. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the glass is half full and not half empty, right? Yes. Uh, how do you see things changing or improving in the next 10 years globally? Wow. So I'm, um, I'm an optimist. Right. Although I have my dark days, mm -hmm. I am still optimistic because I believe in human nature. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we are consciously evolving mm -hmm. to, to be better. Right. And I think that um, it's an interesting time because as we've been discussing, we have the ability to draw on ancient technologies such as meditation mm -hmm. and future-oriented technologies. And we have the ability to um, spread these ideas very rapidly. Mm -hmm. uh, what I would like to see is really uh, more time for us to reflect on what those goals are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the sustainability issue, the climate change issue. Right. I wish we had more um, public uh, awareness created through popular media, through mm -hmm. cinema, through movies right. uh, that would feature heroes who mm -hmm. are making efforts in that direction. Uh, I think there's lots of creative ways that we could start putting out role models and messages mm -hmm. for how we can make this next 10 to 15 years really mm -hmm. matter. Mm -hmm. um, I think the potential of that is, is very much there, mm -hmm. uh, but we can't afford to be um, depressed, we can't afford to be discouraged or right. pessimistic. And okay. I think for myself, uh, every day I get up in the morning, uh, I, it's like a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Start again, meditation practice, this is a new day, mm -hmm. don't waste it, <laughs> and, and no looking right. back. Mm -hmm.